Hi folks and modelers, I'm back for the final episode of the DDG-1000 Zumwalt class destroyer from Snowman model slash Tacom at 350 scale. So today will be a completion, uh, just a walk around and some explanations on uh, what I have done since the last uh, part 4 which was uh, mostly unmasking video so let's get moving into this, uh, this ship so I think you can see this is the overall ship from the front the back so I'm just gonna put down my camera for a while and I uh, hope you can see well okay so I have done all the uh, after the unmasking I've done a lot of uh, some weatherings and also completing off the final small parts like the uh, I've added all these uh, antennas or radar dome and also on top here there are these uh, really fragile piece of uh, photo edge and I have actually dropped one somewhere and I could not find it and on top here will be the radar dome and some antenna structures so that is what I have added and also um, done all these uh, railings added this uh, front piece of uh, thing is another antenna and also I've done the front the riggings on the front here so these these riggings are actually following the, uh, the some of the photos which uh, let me just show you over here. So this this would be the the photo of the real ship. So there are some riggings uh, hanging down. So I tried to follow that. And then, uh, okay, so this barrel here, this turret, I have put it in an open position and this will be movable. So, I'll just zoom in a bit. And also I've done all the uh, the decals uh, on the deck, these uh, markings, then these uh, water level markings. And on the hull, you can see that I've actually did some uh, rectangle types of uh, basically this is all done using weathering and it's actually to simulate the uh, tin canning uh, look on the real ship so I'm not sure if this this looks looks like tin canning or but at least you can see the rectangles here Okay, so moving to the back here, I've also done some rigging work uh, 
here so that is also from you know some reference from the photo and there is this uh, little thing here I think it's like the weather it's you know it's like the weather balloon thing and there's supposed to be two of these one is supposed to go up here but the moment I snap it from the sprue it flew off somewhere so I'm not gonna get to touch that so I think here you probably have not seen this yet I've painted this door uh, okay and then all these added all these decals and also the helicopters are done so that's the seahawk and there's a one drone helicopter here so the back Uh, there are some railings here and here some decals so let me just <clears throat> turn this ship to the other side I've also done some weathering on the deck here to make it look a bit dirty. So there's small decals here. And also on this side, you'll see this kind of like uh, you know, it's just to simulate the tin canning effect on the hull. So, same on this side. Decals. And this thing here, I've actually used uh, some copper wire to coil on this, on this uh, piece. And the reason for that is because, uh, again, uh, let me just show you here. Uh, there is uh, this kind of... It looks like there was some cable being coiled up on this uh, antenna. So I tried to actually follow that. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, so I think that's all I've done. And of course, uh, on the bottom, I've added the, the stand. And also I added this antenna piece here. I think that's it <clears throat> so uh, let me just uh, show you what in my previous uh, video I, I forgot to show you what color I was using so let me just uh, I have it prepared here so let me just start with this so this is uh, a 305 so this 305 is for all these, uh, this, this grey over here. And you know, it's, it's all around the superstructure. And also the door at the, the back here. So that's 305. And 337. Okay, wait. I think I got it mixed up. 
I think this 305 is actually for the for the deck here which is darker and then this this gray here is actually I use uh, 337 I hope I got it right and Three zero six is for this this part here, which you know looks different in color, here and here. And I also use this for the the helicopters three zero six. And the reason why I'm showing these colors is because this uh, actually this kit does not tell you any color coding so you have to actually just use uh, whatever you think is suitable so you know my if you if you like this color on this Zumwalt uh, you know you can you can actually follow this color uh, so 334 is the bit like a barley grey, which is actually for the entire hull here. Okay, and the uh, turret, and also uh, this part here. So that would be 334. And then for the red, uh, the hull here, I actually mix the uh, mix. I think about 30% of this because this is a bit pinkish kind of red and this is a very dark red so I used about 30% 70% for this uh, bottom hull and of course uh, the the black is just semi-gloss black 92 you can I think you can use flat black or doesn't really matter what kind of black as long as it's black and this 137 here tire black is where I used it for this area here so this this is not really like black or it's it's a bit like a really dark gray so that's what I use for this these areas here and also these lines here. So this is 137. So those are the colors that I actually used uh, for this kit. So okay, so I hope uh, that will be a good reference for those who are building this and uh, I think coming to the verdict for this kit the build uh, I think this kit is you know is I mentioned it's less than 100 parts and in fact uh, a lot of those Parts, some of those parts were even replaced with the PE so it's even lesser than than 100 uh, because there were some plastic parts that I did not even use I used the uh, PE so for such a sm uh, less you know minimal parts kit it did take me, I think it's a, it has been about a month since I started this. So, it did take a long time and I spent the most time uh, doing cleaning up, sanding and especially the uh, painting. So those were the things that actually time consuming. So for a kit that has uh, less than 100 parts, it did take quite a while to finish it up. So maybe maybe that's why they designed it with 
such a less parts because they know that uh, there are other areas where you'll be spending a lot of time so I did enjoy this uh, build uh, but the build was of course uh, not too many parts so I and also I did enjoy the painting and a uh, few areas where I actually messed up which is here I did I did mention about you know aligning this surface and here but after I have glued it there is a step here so I can't do much about this now but the other side is actually nice it's it's flat over here so uh not gonna take up too much of your time I um, think this is all for now I hope uh, you got some good points and enjoyed the video so until my next uh, new kit review or build uh, just stay tuned and if you like this uh, give it a thumbs up or and subscribe and i'll come back with uh, more kit builds and reviews so until the next time uh, cheers for now happy modeling bye